Hello, so today we're going over Ramsey My Bearded Dragon's enclosure, which is sitting behind me. It is a four foot by two foot by two foot uh, enclosure. I got the idea off of someone on YouTube posted a video of they made their enclosure, so I'll post the link below for that. So he was in a 40 gallon breeder tank, but he was getting, uh, he's starting to get a little too big for it. Uh, so he's, you know, he's an adult male, he's about four years old. I've had him for the last three years. And so I was going to upgrade him to a larger tank, but I started having the problem of him glass surfing. So I tried putting things up on the inside, but every time I put something inside, he would tear it down. <laughs> so I tried to put stuff around the outside to close off three sides, but they were still causing too many reflections and he was getting really stressed out. Since I moved him into this enclosure, he hasn't glass surfed at all. and He's been a lot less stressed out. So I find that to make for a healthier, happier animal. So enjoy the video. So as a warning, I do have loose substrate in my enclosure. I know it's a controversial topic with the bearded dragon community, but I do feed him on the paper towel side in a bowl to avoid him accidentally picking up any dirt in his in while he's eating. So yes. So here's the outside overview. I have vents on each side and also holes drilled in for the cords to be able to go in for the lights. So the tank is super easy to get in it into. It, both doors open up, so the whole front is open, which makes it easy to clean or get things in and out of his enclosure. So like I said, I do have loose substrate, half of it, I believe it's the um, coconut husk, it came in like a brick and you add water to it and it expands so you're able to use it. And the other side is paper towels. I do have live plants in here, so I do need some kind of substrate to allow the plants to grow. Here's the uh, paper towel side. I have a handmade, just kind of like... Um, Kind of like a hide slash thing he can crawl up onto so it's nice because he it's the cool side of the tank so he can have a, a higher view on the cool side or he can go underneath it to be even cooler so i have a a log for him to go underneath he really likes hiding in his log it's probably his favorite place to sleep he does like to dig in the in the dirt so i do like having the dirt in there i have two lights i have a heat bulb which allows different layers of basking. He can go on top of the log, below the log, so he can adjust to the temperature he needs. And I also have my UV light, which is Velcro to the top. It is a Reptisun T5, I believe, and it gets changed about every six to nine months. I also have a camera in his enclosure to help uh, monitor how much he moves and stuff if I'm not around for the day. So here's a, a close-up of the soil. It's very soft. Uh, all of my plants I have in the enclosure are safe for him to eat, are non-toxic, they don't have pesticides in them. Uh, the grass, not really there for him to eat, but it is a added layer of enrichment, different things he can feel as he moves around. He is pretty horrible at keeping plants in his enclosure, as you see the they're all beat up. He uh, tramples them and he rips the leaves off just to, like there's bite marks in all of them. So he's quite horrible to keep live plants in but he does enjoy them. <laughs> so I keep putting more in there because he does enjoy them. I do have a water ball that's sitting on top of the rocks to help avoid getting dirt in it. Uh, like I said I do feed him on the paper towel side to avoid any kind of impaction. Thanks for taking a look at his enclosure. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment below and ask. So, yeah, say bye, Ramsey. He I don't think he wants to say anything. <laughs> Can you say bye? That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs>